Hello guys, welcome to another short tutorial on Angular. In this video, I'm going to show you how we can install AG Grid and uh, how we can make use of this one. This is a very useful when you have lot of data which needs to be represented in a tabular format. In that kind of situations, this AG Grid is very useful. You can display the data in the AG Grid and you can do a lot of customizations based on your requirement. So by default there will be a pagination, filtering options and lot of options are available in AG Grid. So let's see how we can install AG Grid in our Angular project. To install AG Grid you need to write npm install hyphen hyphen save ag hyphen grid hyphen community space ag hyphen grid hyphen angular and press enter so now ag grid has been installed into our project next go to app module dot ts file and here we need to import the ag grid whatever we have installed just now for that one add import curly braces from ag hyphen grid hyphen angular and within this one we need to import a particular module that is ag grid module so once you import this one copy this module and we need to declare this one in import section as well and along with this one we need to have some of the components of this ag grid for that one add open and close braces within that one square brackets and next we need to define the style of styles of this ag grid in style sheet so for that one go to styles.css file and here import ag grid css and the theme of ag grid so this is a default theme which we use in ag grid then save the file so this is a basic setup what you need to do to use ag grid in your system so once you've done these steps then go to the file wherever you want to add uh, the ag grid so currently i have a default app component html file so let me quickly open this one so that we can see how currently the file looks and how it looks when we add ag grid So this is a default angular uh, page which we can see in angular project so just i opened this one to show that till now i have not added any code here so let me wipe out all this code and say add some content as home page and save this one and you can see there is no content here so now we have a blank page so let's go back to the home page here and here we have a predefined code for ag grid to use so that is nothing but we need to have ag iphone grid iphone angular open and close tag to use this one so within this open tag we need to define the properties all the properties of ag grid whatever we want to use it just for an example style how much width i need to define for this one for this example if i am adding 500 pixels of width and height of 500 pixels so and we need to define the theme of the grid what we are going to use as we have defined a theme in style.css i'm going to use the same theme for our grid so let me copy this one and come back and within the class we need to define the theme for this grid and another two major things which we need to define is the data which we are going to feed for our AG grid and the definitions or the headers which should be shown for this AG grid. So to define the row data use open and close square bracket within that one add row data is equals to within the double quotation add row data. So which we are going to define this data in the TS file. So just we need to add the variable for that one in this ag grid open tag similarly we need to add column definitions for that one you add column defs is equals to double quotation column defs save this html file and go to ts file 
here we need to define these two parameters what we have defined here row data and column def first thing I want to define is column definitions so go to the DS file in this one within the app component class add the column definitions is equals to open and close square brackets within that one we need to define the name for the header so use the keyword header name for this example I will add country and field we need to define defining the row data field will be the same that is country similarly I will have another column for that one add header name as code so I'm going to add country code in this table for this example and the field will be code so we have defined the column definitions now so similarly we need to define the data what data should be shown within the grid for that one add the row data is equals to within this open and close square bracket usually in the projects or real-time projects will have a data which we are going to get from the database but for this example I am going to add that one as manually so let me copy some of the data here so I have added three rows or three data here so I am using the field whatever I have defined here country so this is a reference which we are going to add between the column definitions and row data so country is India code 91 so that's it we need to do in TS file so we have defined the column definitions and row data so whichever we have defined in the AG grid open tag so let me save this file so it's compiled successfully and go back to the browser and here you can see the data is being displayed within the table here with the predefined styles whichever comes with the AG grid so this is how we can add data in a tabular format using AG grid so still there are a lot of modifications or features which we can use of AG grid like sorting filtering etc so which I am going to show you in next videos thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video please click on like button share it to others and subscribe to my channel